share my rare knowledge with you, baby. Drive you crazy. Tip video number one, as the title suggests, branching off pipework at 45 degrees. It can be tricky in Revit, common practice is to use a section, but I find this clunky. As I'm demonstrating, you place a section perpendicular to the pipe, go to view, create similar, draw off. However, maneuvering the section around, especially across multiple floors, can be frustrating, or even worse, working with someone who creates a section for every instance. So an alternative method is to utilize the slope function it does require a quick update to Revit settings. Go to the system tab at the top and click the little arrow at the bottom of the mechanical section. Once you're in the settings, go to slopes, new slope and create a value of one to one, which is essentially one unit of travel along the horizontal axis for every one unit of travel along the vertical axis, resulting in a 45 degree pipe. Back to our plan view, we have a long run along a corridor and we need to branch off. No need to switch to section, click the pipe, create similar, update the slope in the modified tab to our newly created value of one to one and draw, then turn the pipe slope off to continue the horizontal pipe. You can update the elevation accordingly. Pretty straightforward onto the next one. If you set up keyboard shortcuts for slope options too, this method can save a heap of time, especially over a, a huge project. Whoa, wow, wow.